guys, this is my first YouTube channel as a college student, sorta. I tried to do it at my other college, but uh, that didn't work out too much. I was a little too busy. Pretty sure I'll still be too busy, but I'm going to try to make this work. Right now I am filming on my phone, so sorry for the poor quality. Um, right now it is... December 2nd. It is a Thursday. Right now uh, my plans are to go to school. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but well, of course you guys don't know. I attend the College uh, Metropolitan State University in Denver. It is a weird college. I am a transfer student. I used to go to UNC up in Greeley, but because of financial expenses, I could not go. So I took a year gap and I tried to figure out my life and figure out what I was going to do. And so then I decided, you know, let's go to a cheap rich college. That'll still give me the same opportunities, you know. So I changed schools. And so now I'm attending a new college, which is sort of new because it kind of freaked me out because no one else that I know is attending MSU. And it's it's a little scary, but... It's also a weird experience because uh, how the school is set up is not the same as other campuses. They do not offer in house. They don't offer any in house dorming for students attending MSU Denver, because it is a three in one college. Yeah, it has MSU Denver as a community college of Denver as well as CSU Denver. So all of those campuses are all on the same one which is why we are not offered any housing. It's also a smack down and like right next to downtown uh, Denver. So there isn't really too much room to even provide us housing either way. They do provide housing sort of, but that's more like apartments that you ha still have to rent out and they have monthly rent rather than a semester rent. So I cannot afford that right now. And that's also another reason why I'm doing these vlogs is to also give you guys a realistic actual college student experience rather than, you know, giving you guys an experience that I cannot afford. Like, I'm not that student online that you guys would usually see who, like, goes out and gets Starbucks every day and goes out to their friend's house or something like that. Like, I legit cannot afford any of that and I also have a busy schedule because because even though I want to afford those things I can't so I also have a job a part-time job as a full-time student so I'm very busy but right as of recently I've actually quit my recent job because of stress and how it was affecting my mental health so I decided, you know what, I'm going to change my job. And so now I'm working at a different job. I will not disclose that, sorry guys, but it is a retail job. It's the only job I can get at the moment. Um, I am majoring in as a secondary education teacher in English. So right now I'm majoring in English with a concentration of education. So I could be a high school English teacher. <laughs> Anyways, um... I have one class today. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I only have one class, which is math. It's basic math. Um, at my other college, I did have I did take a math class, and I thought that was all my math class that I would only have to take. But unfortunately, I have to take a whole year, so I only took a semester at my other college. So now I have to take another math class. It's not ideal, but the math class isn't too bad. I'm just worried about the final that's about to come up because um, I'm not good at math. Like, at all. I've always managed to, like, scrape by, but, like, never, like, get, like, an A or B or something like that, you know? <laughs> I'm, I also am starting my new job today. Yay, me. Um, kind of nervous, but I'm also excited because when I went in for the interview, they didn't really have much of a dress code. They just wanted you to wear, you know, shorts or jeans but they did not care what type of shorts as long as as they were shorts I don't know about the jeans but I really hate wearing jeans and I also live in Denver Colorado as you guys might not know but the weather here has been hot and I, I blame that for global warming right now but the weather has been hot so it's been like the 60s and 70s lately right now but it the temperature drops when it's um colder 
and I do close today, I believe. I don't know. They <laughs> haven't commun communicated too much about it, but yeah, I have been thinking too much about the war job, and I am an overthinker, so I do tend to overthink everything, but that's on me. That's also probably on my job, because I was supposed to start my first day on Tuesday, but they had to cancel <laughs> because of some big shipment thing that happened. So they wanted me to start my first day today. So hopefully that actually goes through. So yeah, uh, I have math at 1230. I do have to travel to the campus. And right now it's like a 45 minute like light rail ride, which isn't too much. I just, I tend to overthink the um, time so I usually go like 10 minutes early to the light rail to make sure I don't miss anything or just in case the light rail is slow. Because even though it is supposed to be snowing by now, or, um, the light rail does tend to be delayed and sometimes the, sometimes, you know, things can just happen. So I just tend to go a little bit early so I can get to my class a little bit early so I don't have to worry about being late, you know. Plus, it's fine to, like, chill a little bit before class. Um, right now, <clears throat> I'm just focusing on my, um, homework. I have a lot to do. Um, let me go ahead and show you really quick. So, as you can see, I have everything laid out. I have an SED class. I really don't know what that is, but from what I've been seeing in class. It is an online class, so I do not see the professor at all. MSU Denver does offer online and in-person classrooms right now, but with COVID and everything, most of the classes are online, but I've managed to get some in-person ones, such as my math class, but um, from the SED um, class, it seems like it's for teachers for people who want to be teachers who may have t a kid or a student who, with special needs. And so they just teach you about all the different um, special needs ch children that you may have and all that. Um, I also have a research and argument writing class, uh, English 1020. Uh, that's a lot more written, more writing heavy homework, uh, um, more writing um, heavy classroom. So, um, right now, um, there was no midterm exam because the final exam is a 15 to, no, a 12 to 16 page paper, I believe. Um, that's pretty much all the work that we have. That's pretty much all we've been doing in classes, doing research and starting the, um, stuff for the paper because the teacher apparently I did not hear about this until about someone in my math class that they go through like some people from the district or something and they give them a paper and they do really heavy grading on it to make sure that you actually pass but because it's an online class I don't think we're doing that I have no clue it's also an online class so I really don't know too much it kind of disappoints me, though, because I really was hoping that I could get this in person, but they only offered online, and because I'm an English major, I would have really preferred on, uh, in person, but I totally understand. And then I also have human biology. That one is just basic biology for non-majors. For It's not for people who don't have majors, but it's just for people who are not majoring in biology just to get the science credit out of their way. So I'm taking biology. It's very boring because the professor only really teaches from his slides that he gives out and they're already posted on Canvas and he does not care about your attendance because it's already posted on Canvas. So it's a really boring class, but it's all right. Um, he, it's very quiz oriented class so like, I've had like four quizzes already from this teacher. I've already had like three, no, I've already had like maybe three or four exams already. And we have one final exam, which is for the final. Um, the only good thing is that it's not due next week. It's due, it's due after and that's when we don't have um, classes anymore. So I will have time to do that in just 
lot of work because there's quizzes that comes before the final or usually before the exams and those are like maybe about like six about five to seven quizzes that lead up to the exam and because we have such short time to do it I have to do it like really quickly and I don't really observe or learn anything and then of course I have integrated math um it's a very weird math class. I didn't even know what type of math it was because it was called integrated math. Even a lot of people I talked to didn't even know what it was. But it's also for like... I've heard a lot of students who are trying to become teachers are taking this class. But I think it's just another like non-major math class for like people who are not majoring in math to take the math class. Just to get the math credit out. Um, right now we've learned a lot. We've learned, we pretty much learned everything that a high school would learn. You know, we learn, um, geometry, not geometry, but like something around there. And then we learn like, uh, there's, there's so much more. There's, it, it's really weird, but we learned all that. And basically how the teacher teaches us is that we go in, he'll like give us a problem and then he'll tell us to solve it. So like he'll make everybody teach everybody else just so we can learn like as a teacher how we can teach students, which is kind of great. But like at the same time, I really wish he would explain stuff because I'm very bad at math and I really want to pass the class, even if it's biasy, I really want to pass it. But with how things are going and how my whole table at my in the class are going it doesn't seem to be going well but that's all right I guess and then I also have communications class I don't really know why I'm taking this class to be honest when I was talking to my advisor who was actually the wrong advisor but he still managed to give me all these classes it seems I'm going in the right path at least um he told me I could take a communications class because it was very recommended for my major apparently I in my communication class, we have to give three different speeches with three different time intervals. So my first speech was five minutes, second speech is six minutes, and this is my last and last and final speech, which is eight minutes. They both are different types of speeches, but they're on the same subject. So our first speech was informative. So we have to inform our topic. We don't have to persuade or do anything. We just have to inform, okay, this is the speech I'm going to do here's why and here's why it's important and then the second speech I kind of did terrible but um it's a persuasive so we have to persuade people why the topic should be changed or something like that and then our last is a civic engagement one so it's like a call to action one so we have to say okay here's what we can do to solve the problem that's going on and here's why it's a good idea and blah 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 and that's it. Um, I'm not too nervous. I, I'm not a public speaker type of person. I really do hate it. And I wish I did not have that class, but it's very good that I am doing it because I will be a teacher. So I'm going to have to speak in front of a class. I need to get my confidence boosted up anyways. And so far, uh, it's been really good. Anyways, that is my whole class list. Um, if you guys want to see my schedule, I will show you guys later. It is 10.45. I leave for the light rail around 12.40. Late is 12.45 or even 12.50 just because. Um, for me, I like to think of it like not as 45 minutes to get to class, but more like an hour just because I do, do want to make sure that I am not late to campus because at my old college, I used to live on the campus. So I did have a dorm and everything, but because of the whole situation, I'm not living there anymore. So I'm not on campus anymore and there's no shorter distance to walk to class anymore. I literally have to walk to the light rail, take the light rail ride it and then get off the light rail and walk to the campus it's not too much of a walk I just prefer to have a bit of time to actually you know get to class <laughs> um and with the whole situation right now with COVID and everything um it is mandatory um masks indoors I don't know if other colleges are doing this but from other students vlogs they are so that's good um uh, 
there is a, also a mandatory vaccine shot. So like our school was very encouraging on getting the vaccine and everything, which, but of course, yeah, it is mandatory vaccine. Of course, if you do like have a health issue or something and you're, and you can't get the vaccine, of course you need a doctor's note for that and they'll exempt you from that. But then you do have to take weekly COVID tests, which I don't believe is going to be fun because they are weekly and you do have to set aside time to do that. Um, but yes, masks are um, mandatory and in Colorado right now, the COVID cases have been rising a bit. Um, with my job though, I haven't had time to schedule my booster because I don't want to schedule my booster when I have work or something and with classes and everything, I don't want to take that risk. So right now I haven't taken the booster, but I will be planning to get that soon, hopefully. Um, my week is usually I want to say it's scattered but it's really not because I do have a set schedule it doesn't change but at work with a new job and everything I don't know my schedule but they usually like to schedule two weeks in advance which I do like because I don't like a weekly schedule that I get every week because it gives me unpredictability and I don't know what and I usually have to schedule things as I do have therapy too and I have to schedule those things out too and because of work and everything I usually am unable to schedule you know something um that is another thing I also like to show you guys is you know how badly mental health can affect your studies and affect your life and everything um I come from a very religious family. My mom, she is an immigrant from Met from not really Mexico, but from El Salvador. Um, I was born in the USA, though, so um, she is an immigrant. And she does believe that you know therapy and you know medicine are for the local. So <laughs> I um, it took me a while to you know get my mental health prioritized, but I'm glad I am seeing a therapist now, and I'm glad I'm able to if you know focus on my mental health as well. Because I am a first generation student, which means I'm the first in my family to go to college which I'm very happy about, but with that, there's a lot of challenges and a lot of pressure because I'm unable to, you know, do what I want to do with, you know, being poor and, you know, living back at my house with my mom and everybody because, yes, I cannot afford to be in my own room. I actually sleep in the living room of my mother's house. I know it's very sad, but I am going by. This is how I lived from middle school to college. I used to sleep in a bunk bed with my sister with and my mom and the actual bedroom that we have we only have one bedroom in this apartment we live in apartment um but because of my little siblings being born and being added to the family me and my sister moved to the living room we sleep on couches yeah it's all right we're going by we don't have any like back pain or anything from it because we've slept on them for so long that our body has just gotten used to it but we do sleep on couches and this is my realistic life of being a college student, being poor and being in the situation I am. And this is the reason why I wanted to vlog this was because of this experience. So if you guys wanted to see my setup, actually, I could show you guys that with the bit of time that I do have. Um, it is not clean by all means because it is the living room and my siblings, they do play video games here, they eat here, they do everything here, so it is messy, but this is my area. Um, sorry, I have to flip my camera. This is my bookcase. It's not really mine. It's my mom just bought it because she knows I like to read it a lot, but it's been mostly used for my brothers and everything too, but I usually have, I've taken two rows of it, three actually, this is my row with a few other books that aren't mine. I do love reading. Um, that's my passion, <laughs> really. Um, I like reading a lot. And um, that's just what I did because when I was little, I did not talk too much. And so books were my friend, really. It's really sad, but I still have friends in real life. I have tons of friends now, but I, <laughs> I still prefer reading. Um and this is my nightlight right here. I got that from a friend of mine's. Um, we don't talk anymore, but, you know, I'm afraid of the dark. I'm sorry, guys. I am, but I'm afraid of the dark. So I have a nightlight. Um, 
And then my boyfriend currently, right now, he bought me this car. It's a three-tiered car. He got it from Michael's. I used to work there, and I kept passing that car. And um, I really wanted it for so long. Like, it was only $30. But for me, I was just like, ugh, do I really want to take it? Plus, I walk everywhere. I don't know how to drive. Even if I did know how to drive, we don't have a car for me to drive in. So I didn't also want to carry it, but... My boyfriend was kindly enough to gift it for me on my birthday, so I was very happy about that, and that's where I pretty much carry everything. Um, let me go. Mm. But yes, also, we lived in this apartment for like, I want to say like 20 years now, 20, maybe 18 years. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much like the house has degraded a lot, and with my family and with how my brothers are, the house is usually always dirty, and we've had tried to renovate it, but the person who renovated it, it was from a church, and they were like very amateur construction people, so they pretty much. They made it better, they made it look better, but once you started living in the house, everything just started to break. Like, the kitchen tiles in the kitchen, they have cracked very easily, so now, like, the tile pieces are, like, coming off the floor. Unfortunately, we cannot afford to get it fixed. We're trying to right now, we're trying to get as much money as we can to, like, fix up the house, like, we fix, um, our, um, AC, because our AC had never worked. Even when I was little, our AC had never worked. And then we finally got solar recently, like, last month, to finally fix it, so now we have heating and we have cooling, which is really great. But, um, we now have to be over, like, how cool and hot it is now, because my whole family has different temperatures and everything, so we have to debate over everything. Um, and with everything else, um, my brother likes to leave everything out. They're very spoiled on, like, how I grew up. So they like to leave food out, and it's just, it's a mess in here. So I, 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 don't, I wish I didn't have to explain myself, but I do, because I, no comments will say, like, how dirty it is, or, like, how beat up the walls are, or the ceiling, like, my family has tried to paint the walls themselves, and unfortunately, we're not professional painters, not at all, we don't paint at all. So, they have paint on the walls, it's messy paint, sometimes the paint will peel off, because of what we're not doing, so. That's the whole situation. And, yeah. Anywho, that is pretty much my the gist of my life anyways um usually after school i hang out with my boyfriend because he works not too far from my campus he works at rei up in denver he's a very nerd for outdoors so he works in an outdoors place i don't prefer it but you know so i usually would hang out with my boyfriend after school and we would just eat or try to do something he he he's a person who likes to do a lot of stuff i'm not i'm an introvert in every ways you know i like to read i like to stay indoors i don't like to do too much but he's an adventurous guy so he likes to do stuff he does rock climbing occasionally so i'll occasionally go with him but i don't have any workout gear by all means so <laughs> i even spent like 90 dollars on rock climbing shoes because I really wanted to get out of my shell a little bit. So he introduced me to rock climbing and everything. So I do that sometimes with him. We were supposed to do it yesterday. But I wore a romper. And that is not workout clothes. So it was not risking showing my um, hoo-ha for that. And um, what else? We usually just hang out at my house. And we watch like TV or something. But that usually takes up the majority of my day. And then I have to do my homework like at night which I pretty much prefer or in the morning when my siblings are not here because they have they're in middle school right now middle and high school my little sister is in high school anyways and so they leave before I go to class which is totally fine by me because then I get some peace and quiet but sometimes my stepdad or like my mom will stop by in the morning and that'll pretty much disturb everything and so I'll just do homework with my headphones on um but that's pretty much how my life is. But with work added, I will have, you know, school, work, and then my little bits of life here and there. But I've scheduled my work as much as possible. But because I am forced to have Monday and Wednesday off, that's really not a day to me or to do my homework. So I've also scheduled to have Sundays off as well. Not only because my boyfriend is off on Sundays, but because I really, usually my, for my online classes, all of my homework is due on Sundays. So I prefer to, you know, get everything done. And, you know, before um, the time runs out, <laughs> um, I also have work scheduled in the mornings just so I have the rest of the day to do whatever I want to do, such as homework. Um, I also want to say that I will not vlogging when I go to work. It's work. I prioritize work more than, you know, all this. And plus, I'm starting this and I'm an introvert. I'm very, I have anxiety 
and I get anxious when I film in public, so I don't want to <laughs> do that. I will try to vlog on campus. Um, it's a very, I want to say it's a very small campus because you can reach from point A to point B in like 10 minutes. So it's not that much of a big campus. It only gets bigger once you go to um, CSU Denver because they have like a, a campus across the street from the main campus but because I don't go there I don't there's no need for me to go there <laughs> so it's not pretty much a long walk but yeah that's pretty much my my life right now so I'm going to try to do some work before um I have to head out I don't really know what I'm going to do um I've pretty much scheduled out my whole schedule let me go ahead and show you guys really quick so I do use Notion like every other basic person. <laughs> I do use Notion to schedule out my whole week, but I didn't even start using this until like a week ago because I, I, I the, the basic one that they give you just wasn't working out with me and I wasn't really using it at all. I was using my bullet journal for it, but because I wasn't using my bullet journal like every single day, I was just using it to mark off homework that I did. Um, it wasn't really keeping me focused on what I needed to do, but I seem to be using this one. I did get it from a YouTuber. I forgot her name because I've been watching a lot of people on YouTube, but I'll link it down below if I can. I'm still figuring everything out, but this is how I, um, schedule my life out. Um, so with my English picture, I started you writing pa page fifth five. Gosh, I can't talk on Tuesday, and then I wrote page six yesterday. I'm going to hopefully I can write page seven today, but but because I also don't have school or work tomorrow, uh, because of therapy, um, if I can't do it, I'll do it with page eight tomorrow as well. It's a lot of work, but I can do it because I. Obviously, I don't have school on Saturdays or Sundays, so if I can't do it, I can do it. But because everything is due on Sunday and I have to post everything by Sunday, I prefer to do it everything beforehand. And so that's how I schedule it, everything. And because I have a speech also next week, I've been, you know, scheduling out when I'm going to write my speech, what slides I'm going to do finish my slides, start working on, you know, my actual speech itself, because we had to write an outline, and then we also did have to write, um, we also have to do slides for them, so that's what I had been working on for the last couple of days as well, but Monday was my free day, because I didn't do anything, I didn't do any homework on Monday, so I did, that was pretty much, <laughs> sometimes you gotta have your cheat days, but yeah, that is, that is how I schedule out my life, but of course things can go out of hand, um, because I do hang out with my boyfriend quite a lot, just because he's my main, you know, get out of the house person, um, and he really makes me, my anxiety and everything low, I prefer to just be around him all the time, but he also has work, he has work mostly in the mornings, so when... I usually go to his job because he usually gets out later than when my school gets out. So I'll go to the Starbucks that REI has, study there, and then we'll drive off to my house or something. <laughs> but that is my plan. Um, if you guys ever want to see a tour of my Notion, I'll try to figure things out. I'm, I'm very, very new to everything, so I, I'm kind of nervous to do all of this but I really want to show you guys the actual realistic life of a college student that doesn't go to Starbucks every day that you know doesn't go out to eat every day either or something like that because I see that a lot quite a lot on college youtubers they'll like they'll show you like little bits and pieces of like how it is to not being able to afford like textbooks and everything but like even me like I went out of my way to like even <laughs> plagiarize or not plagiarize but like get textbooks like off the, like the deep web <laughs> to get them for free but for my science class I was not able to do that or for my um SED class I had to actually buy the book for it because um it was it wasn't available anywhere else I legit had to buy it because it was like a weird like small like unimportant book but it was important specifically for this class so I had to buy it but uh fortunately my math my English or my um what other classes my other classes they didn't require textbooks but because my 
my bio all they have like um they have a key that's specific for that class that's that is new every year you have to buy that too so i had to buy that key so anything in total for textbooks and everything cost me like over 200 maybe even 100 dollars can't really remember how much the textbook cost me but yeah uh thankfully i had saved enough to actually purchase everything because i am paying for college myself whether before my mom was paying for it but my total cost in tuition is only over 400 no not 400 it's a little below 400 dollars so i am happy to pay for that and that's per semester that's not for the full year oh gosh i hope i don't but yeah um because my mom is out of job not really but she has a foot injury so she's unable to get like a normal paying job where she's on her feet all the time because at her other job that she used to have she was always on her feet carrying tons and tons of weight but then her ankle got injured so she's unable to put too much weight on her ankle now my mom is only doing um food delivery like doordash and stuff like that because that's all really she can do so with financial aid helping me out a lot i am able to afford the college tuition i am paying now so yeah if you guys really want a breakdown of like my finances and everything i can try to do that for you guys as well because i know a lot of people they legit i've met people who are in worse situations as me but yeah, that's that's how I'm going by. So if you guys really want a deeper look of my life or anything, just let me know. I can try to show you guys, but that's another thing I also have to tell you guys. Because I do sleep in the living room, because I don't have my own bedroom or anything, I have little to no privacy at all. So I won't be able to vlog too much of what happens at my house. It's really basically the same thing. I just eat here, I sleep here, and that's really it. Um, I try to do all of my homework outside of, outside of the house, really, because that's really where I can get my actual peace at, rather than at this house. <laughs> um, I am very happy for my situation, though, because I am happy to be going to college. That's all I really can say. Like, if I'm not happy with college, at least I'm in college, you know? Other people don't have the opportunity to do that. So, even though it's a lot of work, it's not the ideal situation I want to be in. I am at least out of college studying what I want to study and, you know, trying to do what I'm trying to do. And that's all I really can do at the moment. But yeah, um, it's 11, 12 now. I'm going to try to get started on homework. If I can figure out really what to do, I'll probably watch YouTube, to be honest, or try to eat something. I don't eat breakfast usually, but I've been really enjoying this Chobani yogurt um, mix-in thing, so I've been eating that for breakfast pretty much. Sometimes eggs, because we always have eggs in a Mexican household. Hispanic household. We're not Mexican at all. We're Hispanic. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then I'll show you guys my way to the light rail after, so I'll see you guys later. Alrighty now, it is... 12.09, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for, well not start getting ready for school, but start getting ready to head out. Um, I don't usually do too much to get ready to head out. Um, I put on my socks, my shoes, and um, get my chargers and everything all prepared because I do have a big, I have a big gap before I head out to work, so in between school and work, because I have my math class till 12.30 to 1 16, 1.45, 1.16, 1.45, yeah, till 1.45, so after that, and I have work at 5, but because I take the light rail, it does take me a bit of time to get to work. So, I don't really know what my plan is going to be for after work. Um, I don't know if I should stay on campus or if I should head towards work because there is a Starbucks. Also, across from my job as well as the library that doesn't also close until 5. And that's when I start um, work. So, I'll see. I'll most likely go to the library just because it is close and it's quiet and I don't have to... Um, do too much. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and start getting everything prepared and show you guys how it is.
am ready to head out although it is still very early to head out i just like to get ready early because as i said before i have anxiety i like to get ready early oh i also forgot to eat breakfast so i should probably do that but before all right guys now it's 12 32 as i said before i usually leave at like 12 40 or 12 45 at the latest as i try um i just wanted to show you guys my outfit because, as you know, being on a budget, I cannot go shopping every week for clothes. And especially for the season change, that also doesn't change my shopping schedule. I just go shopping whenever I can and when I can afford it. Um, I have this cardigan that I bought from Marshalls. Same with this. Um, I can't actually remember if I bought this from Marshalls or from Ross. But um, I really like this shirt. It's a short sleeve shirt. It's very baggy, which I really like because as... I'm sort of plus size, I'm just on the verge of being there, but, um, um, I usually fit, like, extra large or, um, large clothes, so I really like baggy clothes, and then I also have these, um, shorts, they are frilly up top, which I really like, it kind of makes me look like I'm going on the beach or something, but, um, because it's my first day of work, I did not want to look like a bum, you know, but we do have work shirts that they give out to us, so I won't be wearing this when I go to my work. I'm pretty sure I'll be changing into some different clothes. So, yeah, but I really like this, uh, the shorts from, no, I actually got the shirt and the shorts from Walmart. They were having like a $1, $5, and like $8 sale, so I obviously had to, you know, snatch that up. So I got these shorts for like very cheap and with a shirt, so my ideal. And then I have my um Converse, of course, my red high top Converse. I've had them for like three, four years now, so they still fit me, so I'm obviously going to wear them. But they are worn down like the bottom is like kind of falling off a little bit but as long as they're working and it's not snowing then it's fine by me so that is my plan for the day of course so let me go ahead and take you guys out now started at two. It doesn't. It started at 1230. That, but I forgot. So I was there at like 140 when like the class usually ends. Thinking it started at two. My professor even waved at me once he left the classroom and a classmate. I was wondering why they were waving at me and leaving the class. It took me a while to get it. So I'm headed to work, well, to the library right behind my job. It just makes me so embarrassed because the fact that my teacher recognized me and I didn't like understand why he was waving at me. Like, I understand now, but like, I wish 
I had known beforehand. Because I was really hoping to go to the class today. Because there was an answer that we had dis Well, a question we had discussed on Tuesday. That I wanted to know the answer to today. But I guess I won't figure it out until next Tuesday. So hopefully all goes well. I'll show you guys the library once we go in there. I'll see you guys. guys let me give you a little update on what happened so I went into the store right and I had told them like hey this manager told me I could start working today because I wasn't able to start working Tuesday and like the manager and like people were very confused because they were not told of this so the manager said, had asked if I had brought like two forms of ID. Obviously, I don't know how to drive, so don't have a driver's license. I only have my state ID. So, I only had that. But because of this, I wasn't allowed to work today just because they needed those two forms. They had asked me if I wanted to come back, but I couldn't because I walk everywhere so by the time I get back to my house back here it'd be like eight o'clock already and there's no point in me coming back so I told them that they told me that I could come back at another time but just to have those two forms of IDs I'm just very disappointed because I really wanted to start working today and start making money but that's just not gonna happen 
I'm hoping I can start working tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I have therapy tomorrow. I can start working on Saturday. Just because I don't have school or anything. But it really irks me because nobody had told me this. I had texted my manager and everything. And he, he was the one who told me not to come in on Tuesday. He just didn't tell me how to bring two forms. It seems like that manager seems to be a little behind on everything because of this because he did not notify the other manager working today that I was even supposed to be coming so I guess I'll just be going home my boyfriend is working until like 5 or 5 30 so I won't be going to his job since it's too late for that I'll just start walking home and sort of waste my time Hopefully, hopefully things get straightened out.